Well, here's the set I made in the last video, and I wanted to give you an update. It took just a matter of seconds for somebody to point out, hey, you, uh, you forgot to make the zeros. I could not believe it. I, and uh, a couple hours later, somebody else pointed out something about um, duplicates. There shouldn't be duplicates. No way. I cannot believe I screwed up on both of those things. So I got a set of dominoes out that we had in the hallway. It's a 15 set, and sure enough, sure enough, I clearly did it wrong, so let me show you. So let me show you how I laid these out here. It took quite a bit of time, but uh, you'll see that I started with the lowest number being zero, and sure enough there are not duplicates so when you start the ones you don't do a one blank because that would be a duplicate and the twos and the threes and so on now the set that i made a moment ago is not doesn't have numbers higher than six so our set should have looked like this now if you look at it you realize that you don't need to write down the whole pattern to keep track of it while you're making it. The trick would simply be to start with, in this case, a zero stamp and do all of your numbers. And then once you're done with the zeros, you toss that stamp away because there are no more zeros. And you move on to one, you do the same. And when you're done with the one row, you toss that one away. And uh, by doing that, you will make the right amount. I also wanted to point out one more thing uh, I really don't like playing with the dominoes. Uh, the colors and the tiny dots, it's very difficult to play with. But these simpler numbers, one through nine, are really easy to see and they're not as busy as the rest. So this is what a one by nine set would look like, or a zero through nine. And that's not that many more than what I tried to make before. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a number seven, number eight, number nine, and I'm going to include that in my domino kit. And anyone who's ordered a kit, I'll either uh, hold your order for a day to get you those, or I'll mail something off to you. But uh, I can't believe I didn't even bother looking it up. I was more concerned about getting a quality stamp and missed the forest from the trees. So mistakes were made. Okay. What am I going to do with these? I don't want to throw them away. I want to use them for something. We'll get more than one use out of it. So I dug through my pile of bisqueware and I have this uh, succulent pot I never glazed. And so my thought is to take some super glue and start to glue up a kind of a gapped pattern. I'm thinking five per per ring and we're going to build something up here and it's going to be held together with super glue and, and then we'll spray a glaze on it and obviously this is fully fired so this will be a, a reglaze. I don't expect the, the glaze to go on super thick but it'll certainly go on thick enough I hope to allow this thing to all fire and uh, become one piece. So let's get to work and see what we can do. And I do hope I'm going to have a little bit of time to move these around in the first ring because I'm not sure what the best spacing is going to be. Looks about right. So what do you think? I've used super glue before in gluing things together, but more along the lines of maybe trying to glue a handle back onto a mug that broke in the bisque fire and not had the best luck I'll be honest. Uh, my experience has been that the glue acts kind of as a release just like you waxed it. So you go to glaze this thing and all the glaze pulls away from your joint. So I'm not sure but hopefully you're not going to see a bunch of it. This is already kind of a funky funky type of piece so whatever if it doesn't glaze perfectly I don't care
last one. Okay. Do you want to make sure? Don't really want to change the overall shape, but. So from where I was sitting, it looked fine. You can already kind of see. See how it looks kind of flat right there. I don't know if I want to change the whole wall, but I think if I go at least like two or three domino rows down, that should be enough. You know, I'm gonna call it. I think, I think I've improved it. <laughs> All right, well, you can see it looks, from that angle, look like it was still flat right here, but it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, I've let that super glue dry overnight. No problem so far. I have it set up here in the paint booth and I have some Temaku in the gun. So we're gonna spray some glaze and I'm really curious to see how well it uh, sticks or doesn't stick to those fully fired tiles. So here we go. <laughs> Well, that's stuck fairly well. Uh, but I'm not sure if that looks heavy to you. Uh, it's shiny, it's all sitting on the surface, but this being a bisque piece that had nothing on it, that doesn't. That looks really thin to me, actually. So, even though it looks really wet, we are gonna definitely be suffering some drips as this comes down, but I'm gonna let this just hang out and we're gonna let it all dry up. I'm not sure if you noticed, but no, those dominoes down there are not part of the piece. They just had some spares and I used them to hold the piece up while I sprayed it. Okay, I've let this just sit here overnight to dry. I didn't want to move it because I want to spray a little more. But I do want to point out, as I suspected, there are little spots where the glue has kind of acted as a bit of a release agent. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect coverage, but... I still have some Temaku in the gun, so I'm going to give it another shot, and we're going to let that dry today. Okay, so the second coat of Temaku is dried up, and I've decided to go ahead and spray on a rivulet. It'll be a Val's rivulet, and I'm going to focus on the top, but hopefully it will actually break and that'll facilitate getting glaze down into the cracks, I hope, and uh, hold this thing together. Well, I'm recording this outside. It's a nice sunny day, sunny afternoon. And I thought the light was good to be able to see how this turned out. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Got some greens. Definitely the copper just went bananas. Uh, I did have a drip right here. So I'm going to have to grind out that, that bit of tile. And I did lose a domino. I mean, when I opened the kiln, I really felt like I was going to just see a pile of dominoes. I thought this whole thing might fall, but I lost one and it fell inside. And it's not fully blocking the hole. But you can also see, look how much it moved. Man, I was really close to having this whole thing come down in the kiln. But I think that's really fun. So let me know if you've ever super glued something together and reglazed it or done anything similar to that. But I think that's kind of fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a plant in it. I'm probably gonna fill it up with dirt and maybe side plant the cracks. I don't know. Maybe put moss in it, I don't know, but. It'll be some sort of plant and I'll probably have it spill out here and it'll go in the corner of the garden. Hope you enjoyed.